Hey y'all, welcome back to Conversations with Carrie. Fa la 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 la, la 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 la, cause it is Christmas season and your girl is here all for it. And hopefully you're having a little break maybe from work or just having some downtime. And if so, your girl got a book review for you. It's a book review time. You better get it, you better get it, you better get it, better get it. <laughs> y'all, I'm coming with such a good book review. If you haven't seen Killers of the Flower Moon, it's a movie out right now, but I'm the type that I, if there's a book that goes along with the movie, I want to read the book first because that's just the book nerd in me. And let me tell you, this book did not disappoint. Let me first say, this book is a conversation starter. I went to Maui for my birthday with one of my besties and let me tell you, everywhere I went, somebody wanted to stop me. Either they've read it or they were talking about reading it or they've heard about it. So be prepared that if you're sitting somewhere like this, somebody's gonna stop you and ask you about this book. So for one, it's a conversation starter. If you're the type of bookworm who likes to be by themselves and not be interrupted, you better put it down in your lap or cover it up or something. Second, it does not read like your regular, I guess you could say narrative or historical fiction. This one definitely reads like a documentary, like it's fast. It's like a history paper or a news article. And it's so interesting because as I was opening it up and they were, everybody was talking about how amazingly written it is. I don't know if I feel like, oh my gosh, he wrote it so well. It's really the story. He does live a, leave a lot of cliffhangers and kind of bring, like leaves you breadcrumbs as the story goes on. Lastly, you know what? If you're the type of person who like wants to read about stories that happened in history that were not included in history books, like this was not in my history book, I can tell you that much. This is the book for you because it was almost like reading um, like behind the scenes of history. Like, oh my gosh, this actually happened. So let me tell you what the book is about. I'm going to try to do it without any spoilers. Now, this story is about the, uh, the Indians who lived in Osage County in Oklahoma. Now, also, I'm, I say Indians, some people prefer indigenous people, some prefer Native American. I'm going to kind of use them interchangeably to respect those who are a part of that community to make sure that I'm acknowledging the community. But they received this, this plot of land that nobody else wanted to live on, and so they gave it to the Indians. And it turns out, they were like, okay, great, we'll take it. And it turns out that the land had black gold, which is oil on the land. So these Native Americans became extremely wealthy, you know, and it was multiple families, multiple tribes, like they were very wealthy because they lived in this area. And as they became wealthier, unfortunately, people started targeting them and they started dying off. And there was like a lot of mystery around their murders. They call it that time period, the reign of terror. But I love what this book does and I'm trying my best not to give spoiler alerts, but the book really goes into detail around those murders, how they happened, and who they eventually convicted about the murders. So um, I, I was actually reading this on the train and one person was like, gosh, it's such a sad ending. And I was like, Oh no, but I told myself I would not read ahead, so I did not read ahead, um, but I would agree with that person. It is a sad ending because it's basically about this amazing community of indigenous people that were, you know, swindled out of their money um, and considered second class or second rate citizens by the white population. So let me also say, if this is the story that maybe triggers something in you, if you got some built up resentment that you need to deal with, child. This ain't the story for you. You might want to get some healing before you read this book because it can produce feelings of maybe anger or disappointment or frustration. I think it's interesting that like this author that he gave life to this story. I often wondered, I was like, you know, from what I can see, it looks like this is a white male who wrote the book. And I was thinking to myself, I wondered if it would be received as well if it was written by one of the women maybe from the indigenous community or if this was written by one of the men or the nephews or something from the Native American company, me, uh, community, would they have received, like would this book have been printed? But I'm glad that David Grant took the time to um, pen this story because oh my gosh, and I haven't seen the book yet, I mean, excuse me, I have not seen the movie yet, so please let me know down below if you've seen it and if you feel like and you've read the book or what you think about either one. It has a lot of characters, a lot of timelines, and a lot of plots, but they're all centered around the killings of these um, um, of these Indians for their money. Basically, that's what it comes down to. So, um, again, there's so much to this. It also talks about the birth of the FBI and J. J. Edgar Hoover, um, which to me, that was, 
I didn't really know tons about the birth of the FBI, but it really came out of uh, the story. So it's, I mean, this, it has a lot in this book. You're going to want to Google. You're going to want to like do your own research. But I think he did a great job of capturing everything that happened during that time. And I, he even says it in the book, like he's only, you know, he's capturing what was actually documented. Think about what wasn't documented. I know there's so much to our history that we don't know, but I highly recommend this. Killers of the Flower Moon. You need to check it out. I'm going to see the movie so I can have some type of comparison because I want to bring life to this. Um, but it is every bit of worth the read. Give it, gift it to somebody for the holidays. You know, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, child. Get you a book. All right, y'all. Be sure to like and subscribe and check things out. Bye.